First I crush all the ore in a dolly pot. And then <clears throat> it goes into my cast iron mortar and pestle so I can crush it down even smaller. Right, I've got my little miller table set up here and over the top of the uh, V-rib matting I've put a carpet, a rib carpet. So I'm just running my uh, sulphides, crushed sulphide ore through there. I wet that up, wet it up otherwise it'll just float away. So. Wet it up and uh, I'm just putting putting it through here to concentrate my sulfides. And I'll do this before before they're roasted. Okay. Yeah, so what this is doing, it's getting rid of all of the uh, gang material out of the sulphides and just concentrating the sulphides uh, down so I'll probably run this twice uh, before I uh, roast the concentrates so it's just about yeah, concentrating it all out so that you're not you know, just roasting gang material It's loading the carpet right up in here. Now this is an ongoing process here. Um, I've got a little bucket of crushed ore there and I'm just panning some out. Pan panning the sulphides out this and I run it through my little matted miller table or well, you can pan it out too so uh, it's just about yeah, reducing it all just as pure as you can to just sulphides and eliminate all the gang material so you're not roasting a load of rubbish so um, yeah I'll just show you Just got to be careful with it because it's it's not heavy like gold, and you'll lose some. I'm just trying to get rid of all of the blonde rubbish there, all the gang material, and just the sulphides at the back, as you can see. I'm trying to keep. That's probably about as here as I'd want to keep it or get it. Takes a little bit of effort but uh, yeah 
it's a bit slower than doing it with my little um, miller table with the carpet in it. Uh, the pan is a bit slower, but I don't mind it. Still achieve the same thing. Yeah. Crushing, crushing the uh, sulphides right up to a fine dust. Here's, here's some of them I've already done. That's it there. Finely crushed, powder. So, just took my gas mask off, that's all. Yeah, I'm just finally crushing the ore after I've done it in the mortar and pestle. I put it in a little uh, little gem tumbler there, like a mini ball mill. And I've got uh, a bunch of ball bearings in there. And that's been running there for about, oh, an hour. And it's just turned it into a fine dust. The finer the better. So there they are there, a bunch of ball bearings, and they just go in the uh, mini ball mill, like that, so I can crush the ore up a lot finer, okay? This has been crushed down, ready for roasting, and so is this one, but this has got a bit more blonde material in it a bit more concentrated this is a bit, a bit uh, it's been concentrated but I can concentrate that one even further All right. so they've got to be uh, roasted I've just been roasting the ore here with my uh, map gas. So there's a, a bit in there, that's highly concentrated, that stuff. It's black. And this was black, but it's. Uh, Gone red now because of the iron out of the cast iron pan. It was was black, so it's all been roasted. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people realise that, but by roasting, <coughs> you drive off the sulphur atom and replace it with an oxygen atom. So, turn sulphides into oxides non-magnetics become magnetic. So I don't think a whole lot of people realise that. So um, yeah, so that's what you that's what you're looking to keep. Uh, unlike when you pan, you're trying to get rid of all your magnetites and that and your black sand out. This you want all your magnetics uh, because that's where your gold's gonna be probably locked up in the uh, in the iron. Okay. Now I just take three magnets under the bottom of my pan for when I'm panning out the roasted concentrates. Uh, magnets under the bottom, pan out, 
and the magnetics will stick up along here. You can do it a lot of different ways, but that's pretty easy. I'll show you how it, how it goes. Right, so I'll just pan that back. And you see up there all the magnetics are caught under my three magnets under the pan. So that's what I'm keeping. I want to keep the magnetics. And I'll still go through this a couple of times. I'll get that out. And the way I usually get it out, I just use a standing knife blade and just scrape it out like that. So just uh, scrape it out. Throw it in the container until it's all out. Bit hard doing this one handed. <laughs> it's a lot easier when I got my hands free. But um, yeah, so I'll just swirl that down there again. Make sure I get all the magnetics and I don't even throw away the last of it because there's still some values in it. But there it is again. So I just keep panning it out, about a tablespoon at a time, until I recover all the magnetics out of it. And then I still keep the overburden anyway. Alright? So that's just that. Right, I'm just going to uh, temper these crucibles for an hour in the oven at 300 degrees. Just to uh, dry them out prior to using them uh, in the furnace. really push you off. Run out of gas right near the pour time. Damn. The temperature is starting to drop.
There it is in the can mold. <clears throat> and there it is. Go button. <laughs> break up the, the bits, correct the mould, slag, there's all the slag, and the cast iron frying pan there, and there <coughs> is what come off the end, and the gold button, and there it is. Yeah, there you Little fella there. Right there. Baby. A little gal baby. There you go. <clears throat> There's me gal baby. <laughs> Little girl baby. Okay. okay. Well, sorry I didn't show the actual pour because uh, it all happened too quick. I was running out of gas, the temperature was dropping, and I just had to go for it. But anyway, uh, yeah, I had the camera all set up and I had to just start the camera after I'd already poured it in the conical mould. Sorry about that. I'll probably do an extra, another one anyway. So. Okay. Yeah, so if you like, just give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully back out in the creeks and rivers. Okay. Thanks again for watching. Catch ya.